What's up, YouTube? So I am here with a review today. It's a little different from what we're used to, but some of you know I'm really into photography, so I wanted to talk about the camera that I use for my photography, which I'm filming on right now, otherwise I'd have it in my hands, but I use the Fujifilm X100F. Um, I wanted to do a, a little bit of a long-term review. That's why I didn't come out with anything right away. Um, I had two cameras prior to that um, that I've done videos on, uh, or at least filmed with, and that was my Canon 80D and then my uh, Pentax Q. I didn't do any videos with that, but I've done street photography with it. And so after having those two uh, cameras, I really started to find out what I like to shoot and what I like to, um, uh, the style of camera I like to use. So why did I buy the X100F? Um, I mean, there's tons of reasons and mostly uh, it's kind of uh, the same reasons a lot of people love the camera um the camera is just it's it's gorgeous it uh it's just something great to look at and it has uh what all fuji uh, most fuji film cameras have is that nostalgic vibe and feel um, and a lot of people will be like oh fuji's the poor man like but for me i don't need to be spending six thousand dollars on a camera or ten thousand dollars on a camera to make amazing pictures. And I learned that from owning a Pentax Q. Um, that gave me proof that uh, it's not always about the money and the equipment, it's about the artist behind the camera and how they see the world. Um, and a lot of my stuff isn't gonna be on billboards or anything like that, so I don't need uh, a full frame camera. I don't need super high res pixels all the time. Um, I've learned to work with the limitations I had in the past. Um, so for me, Fuji is where I'm gonna be staying. I love this, the system, I love the company. So why about the camera? So like I said, um, it's beautiful. Um, I love the design and I love uh, just it, it, it. The camera makes you want to take pictures. Um, it's fun to take out, it's fun to have with you. It's not as compact as my Q which I do miss that about having a Pentax Q, but for the features and for the capability and for the colors that Fuji brings out, um, I'd gladly take that over the Pentax. Um, if none of you know already, it does come with a fixed uh, 35 equivalent lens. It's the 23 millimeter F2. Um, that's been on the body since the original X100. Um, but I, I love this camera. I mean, like I said, uh, the physical dials, the compact design, um, the looks, I mean, it looks like a film camera. So I, I feel safer taking this out than say like my Canon 80D because my Canon, that was bulky, big DSLR. And um, I would definitely get looks with this one. People kind of think, especially with the setup that I have, um, people think it's just a film camera so they don't even bother with me. Um, the film simulations, uh, those, I love those. I love messing around with those. Acros is my favorite. I love taking black and white uh, photos. Uh, color, I'm still experimenting with, but there's just something about black and white that just has more soul uh, to it. But when you get a banger of a shot with colors, you know, there's no denying how great it looks. Uh, and then I like the conversion lenses. Like I said, there's already the built-in lens, um, but there is the, the teleconverter and the wide conversion lens that gives you a 28 equivalent and a 50 equivalent um, field of view uh, or uh, focal length, I mean. And uh, I don't have the, the, the 28 millimeter equivalent. I just have the teleconversion uh, lens. And that's because for me, the reason why I bought this camera um, on top of some other points that I'm gonna talk about soon is, um, is I know I shoot street and I shoot portraits. That's pretty much all that I like, really enjoy to shoot. Um, so 35 mil is for my street shots and the, the teleconversion gives me my portrait lens. And I'm completely happy with that. Um, I recently tried to minimize my setup. You know, I had the, the Canon 80D, the Pentax Q and other gizmos and gadgets to help with filming or doing photography. And I wanted to keep my whole setup light. So I have my GoPro for uh, vlogging and then I have uh, my X100F for photography, but um, I'm enjoying the colors that I get out of the video, even though it's only in 1080p. Um, so I'm probably gonna use 
my X100 to film more uh, personal talks like this to where I can just have it set up. There's no IBIS in there, so I'm not gonna use it to go run and gun. Um, you know, my hands are really shaky, so unless I have IBIS, I'm not gonna really use it for vlogging or anything like that. With the GoPro, you have the hyper smooth, and uh, that helps a lot of that shakiness get out of the way. The GoPro is great for vlogging, the GoPro is great for just on the go shooting and doing some extra B roll stuff, but um, I'm enjoying using this uh, as now my new uh, YouTube camera for the meantime. Um, what I don't like about it, so I, I just covered everything that I love and why I bought it, and um, you know, like I said, physical dials, film simulation, compact design, um, the look. Uh, and the uses that I use it for. It's perfect for what I need it for. And I think that's one thing that a lot of photographers or a lot of beginning photographers need to realize. Um, you don't need the best gear. Um, you don't need the fanciest dials, but get what you need of what you wanna shoot. Now it's okay if you like to shoot everything, then get a camera that's versatile for everything. But if you, ha if you know, like for me, I like street, I like portraits. I have the 35, uh, uh, equivalent lens that's built in for street and then I have the teleconversion for portrait which I'm using right now to film this um, but I know what I need and I know what I'm shooting for um, and that's been able to give me the camera that I want the camera that I'm gonna use and the setup that I that I love that I actually enjoy to have um, so again what don't I like about it and a lot of photographers will bring up a lot of stuff that they don't like about it but for my uses the only thing that i find is a con is there's no weather ceiling i would love to go out and shoot in the rain um or even when it's it's a little misty or wet i baby my cameras um they're always in really good condition i, I see people just that batter the crap out of them like um who is it i think it's kevin mullins uh, Fuji ambassador who take, does amazing work. Seeing his cameras, it's just like, geez, how does it survive all of those cracks and scratches and everything? Um, but maybe one day I'll get there. Um, I don't want to be so carefree with my cameras because you never know, I may sell it later um, to get the next version that comes out. Um, but I, I like to take care of them. So, weather ceiling is important for me. If they were to announce a new X100V, and it has weather ceiling, I will go and sell this one right away to pre-order that one because I want that weather ceiling. Um, but that's really the biggest con for me when it comes to the X100F. Um, if I haven't already, I'm gonna be putting some photos up while the, the, the rest of the video is going on um, with some photos that I've caught with this camera. Uh, by far, it is my favorite camera that I've owned. This is my third camera and it's, made me say that I'm sticking with Fuji and Fuji's gonna be my home. Um, so, hey, maybe one day I can be an ambassador. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I do wanna do more photography videos too for you guys. Cause again, this channel is not only about my digital art and uh, open source software, but it's about art in general. And photography has become a huge thing in my life. Um, especially if you watched my last video, um, that it's really changed how I look at my art and how um, uh, how it helped me um, out of a rut. So what am I looking forward to from Fuji? So they just announced um, the X-Pro3 and everybody's going on the, uh, the previews with it. Um, I'm probably going to get that one as my next Fuji camera unless they announce an X100V with better video capabilities and weather ceiling. If they do that, then I'm gonna stick with the X100 um, series. If not, I might be jumping to the X-Pro3 because I love the design that they're doing with the camera. Um, I know a lot of people are complaining about the screen and that it's blocked or that it doesn't turn around. Well, that's fine. The camera's not for videographers, it's for photographers. Um, it does come with some great video settings. So I'm excited about that because if I do get that, at least I'll get 4K. Um, even though it's 8-bit, I'll get um, 1080, 120. Um, so I'll still be able to do some cool stuff with the video features if I need to. But my main concern is when I go out with the camera, I'm taking photos. I got the GoPro to vlog because uh, I want to keep my setup light. Um, but yeah, my, my main camera is going to be for photos. Um, so I don't really need all the fancy video features. Um, 
I mean, unless they're to announce the XH1 that has I or XH2 that uh, would have IBIS like the original XH1. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But I'm really looking forward to the X Pro 3. Um, I'm really looking forward to what they do with the next X100V, uh, if that's what they're going to call it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions that I didn't cover in the video, please leave them in the comments below. Um, if you want to see some more of my photos, you can follow me at AE Foundry on Instagram. Um, I post my 3D art and my photo work um, right now since I'm just getting back into the, the, the flow of doing my photography. I've been pretty slow with uploading my photos, but you can see all my photos on there um, that you may not have seen in the video already. Um, and other than that, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will talk to you later. Peace.